Welcome to the Cox Community Connection, highlighting organizations, events, and people from around our local community. Hello and welcome. I'm Cam Johnson, Public Affairs Manager, and I'd like to welcome you to today's Cox Community Connection show. On this program, we're going to talk about some great festivals taking place in Pensacola. We're going to talk to the Boys and Girls Club of the Emerald Coast, but first we're going to talk about a, an organization, an upcoming event taking place in Fort Walton Beach. And to talk about that is Carrie Woods. She is the Performing Arts Coordinator with Pyramid Incorporated. Carrie, thank you so much for being my guest today. Sure, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, first, uh, tell us a little bit about Pyramid. What, what is Pyramid and what is your mission? Pyramid is a day training program for adults who have developmental disabilities. And we, we really want to make a difference in the lives of all of our students that attend Pyramid, whether they be a uh, part of our performing arts department, visual arts, or if they're there just to learn some basic education and daily living skills. And where are you located? We're located at 432 Green Acres Road in Fort Walton Beach. And it's, you say adult education, what age groups are you looking for and about how many students do y'all have there at Pyramid? Well, we have students that have, once they've graduated from high school, mm -hmm. usually at the age of 23, then they can elect to attend a day training program. Um, and so they can either choose to come to Pyramid and they can stay at Pyramid until they decide to retire if they wish. It, it, you mentioned some of the, the programs that you have there, but give us some examples of what these students do at Pyramid. Some, some examples of, of some of the projects they work on or, or some of the different things that you guys offer to your students. Sure. We have a visual arts program that teaches fine arts. Um, they can learn to sculpt, paint with acrylics, um, make jewelry. They have some of the most beautiful jewelry. I have quite a large collection myself. <laughs> um, and then also from the original art prints, uh, original art pieces that they make, they also do prints. So if you can't afford an original piece of art, you can always purchase something that's a little less expensive and the art prints themselves are very high quality um, and they're, they're absolutely beautiful. I own several myself. Um, and then also we have the performing arts department, which is what I'm in charge of. And throughout my day, I will teach sign language. Um, I teach drama class. I teach creative writing, dance class, and of course, uh, the singing. Well, and let's talk about some of the performing arts. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about an event that you have coming up, Beyond the Mist. Yes. A uh, big event for you guys coming up in November. Tell us a little bit about the program. The Beyond the Mist is our annual musical this year. We do a musical every year, every fall. Um, this is our 10th production. I've been there with them for 10 years. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the 10th show. I write a, a script for them. So the play itself is original. We use popular music throughout the whole uh, musical. Um, with the exception this year, we have one original piece of music that's going to be part of the show. Um, it's called Bed Bugs, and it was written by one of our students, Christy Rush. Uh, oh, so great. So your students yes. get involved in writing the script, or Absolutely. writing the songs, and, and the performance. Absolutely. And the music instructor, Billy Sloan, uh, put her lyrics to music. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, uh, now, where is the show being held? It's going to be at the Maddie Kelly Art Center in Niceville. Uh, once upon a time, we used to be able to do our shows at the Civic Auditorium. Mm -hmm. yeah. It only holds 400 people. We outgrew that many years ago. Great. So this is our fourth show at the Maddie Kelly. And do you still have tickets available and how can people find out about, oh, about yeah. getting tickets and getting, getting to see the show? Yeah, we have tickets available. All of the tickets are general admission. They're only $10 a piece. So it's a great, great price for, for a great production. We do a high quality production. You can call Pyramid to, to reserve your tickets or come on by and see us. Um, the number is 862-7139. Um, and we're located on Green Acres Road, 432 Green Acres Road directly across from the Bunny Bread store, just in case you are not sure where that is exactly on Green Acres Road. And, and for a little trailer for people while they were watching, a little teaser, what is, the, what is Beyond the Mist about? Beyond the Mist is kind of a spooktacular event. <laughs> it's not scary by any means, but it's about a dream world. Um, and the power source for this funky town world is this blue rose crystal. There's a little rivalry among some, some old friends, the Wolfman and the Goblin King. And 
the wolf man kind of feels like he's been kind of left out in the cold. He decides he's going to steal that blue rose crystal and get the power for himself. So throughout this thing, they're trying to find the blue rose crystal. They decide they have to contact a mortal because the mortals are what they have all the wonderful mm -hmm. dreams. And we are what infuses that funky town world with all of our vibrant dreams. And uh, so they bring, bring a character named Becky. It's going to be played by Lindsay Tripp over and... Uh, and then they go and search for the blue rose crystal and have to learn some life lessons along the way. But it's, it's a great, fun show. And give us the date, time, and location again, please. Okay, it's going to be November 2nd at the Maddie Kelly Arts Center. Uh, the show time itself is 7.30, but come early. We're going to have Absolutely. an art show and a silent auction that's going to start at 6 o'clock. The art show is going to feature artwork from all six pyramids in the state of Florida. That's going to be art coming from Pensacola, here in Fort Walton Beach, Panama City, Tallahassee has two different um, pyramids there, and then one in Tampa. So we're going to have jewelry, fine art, and prints from all of our pyramids. Huge art show. You will not want to miss it. And as well as we're also collecting right now from different businesses in the area, different items for raffle and silent auction. So you can come and either get a ticket to maybe win one of those items or sign up and try to outbid the next person on some really great silent auction items. Well, that sounds great and good luck on the auction and, and the show. I know Thank it'll be you. a great success and we appreciate you joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Coming right up, we're going to talk to the Boys and Girls Club of the Emerald Coast. Stay with us.